we just have to see who wasn't there of the time of that, right? So we just gotta do 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. And that's it. That's all we do. What did it do? Okay. So hold on. Oh my god! Look, I was browsing through Steam and I saw a game with a name that I can't even properly pronounce. I don't even know the definition of it. I don't even know if it's good, it's bad, it's sad or mad, but whatever. It's a scary game. It looks pretty cool. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to talk to the dead to figure out like some kind of murder mystery. And I thought that was pretty cool and unique. It looks scary. So that's the most important thing is that it looks scary. But is it actually scary? I don't know. We're about to figure it out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up. Because here we go. All of the stories mentioned in the game are fictional. Any resemblance to the biography? Whatever, man. <laughs> couldn't even finish that prognostic like i just said i have no idea what that means i was gonna look it up but i'm feeling lazy today it's a lazy sunday my parents died my brother and i were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen we heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped sounds hot the police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery stabbing until the knife stops accidentally in our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States. A woman named Randolph. A medium. Our grandmother. She already Our mom never talked about shit. her. And hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I, like I still scenario, remember though. rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal... What happened to our parents? But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. It's always a local Grandmother lawyer. was killed. Stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back, and they are not alone. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends. I can't take it anymore. I really like this narrator. Grandmother was trying to understand what I was see wrong. You, my guy. She tried to tell us, and I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. Interesting. Okay, so she was a medium, and my boy's trying to go back and be a medium himself, but he looking like well done. But we're gonna figure this out. Prologue, personal case. Oh boy. Oh fuck, really a lighter? Use WASD to move. Hold on, I gotta change the settings. You guys see, like, the screen tearing like that? I think your boy gotta fix some settings real quick. Okay, there you go. We're good. So, WASD to move. This house really do look haunted as shit. Only got a lighter. Sucks balls. What's this? Oh, there you go. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help. Every day, he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. You can use divination rituals to uncover new clues. Once you find the culprit, fill out the report and send it to your brother. Solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help. Solve the test case. Press tab to... Oh, God, it's so freaking scary in here. Why is there a random-ass button up right at the front door? Okay, so this is the personal case. Why did you come back? We've been watching this old woman go crazy through all of our childhood, and now you went to take her place? What are you doing? Well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an invocation to the souls of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, which of the neighborhood kids broke my window? I'll send you a description of them, just like the ones the old woman worked with. If you find out who did it, then we'll talk. One of them committed this terrible crime a couple of years ago, on December 14th at 1300 in 1902. 1902? I lived on the first floor in an apartment at 2 Meadow Street. And don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it. I just want to test you out. So the objective is to submit the culprit dossier and send a clue about his location at 14th of December at 13 o'clock at 1902 during the crime. Okay. Go to the next room and find the ritual candle. Press F to light the path with a lighter. 
piece of crap lighter. So this is it. Other divinations can only work while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using the instructions from the book. Hold down the right mouse button to take a closer look. So the candle is a conductor. It provides contact with the spirit world. Rituals only work while the candle is burning. As soon as the contact is established, the light of all the candles will change to blue. As soon as the candle goes out, connection will be interrupted and rituals will become impossible. At this moment, all candles will change their light from blue to yellow. You can find spare candles next to the candlestick. Remove the extinguished one and light a new one to reestablish a connection. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, light up my world. <gasps> Holy shit. The door of all ritual rooms are marked with clues. Find a room with a wall map. It has a symbol of compass. It has a symbol of compass, you say? What the fuck did you just say, you say? Okay. Well, let's see. We gotta go here, right? Holy crap. Bro, I got chills. I got the chills that kills for no reason. In order to work with a ritual map, you need to... What the? Ooh! Bro, what is this crusty, dusty-ass house? So, we need to use dousing rods. Press Q to pull them out. Place the file on one of the suspects on the stand. It's located next to the map. Follow the instructions on the book. Okay, wait. So, we... <laughs> we? We, we, we? I mean, these things are going we. So, in order to work the ritual map, you need to use dousing rods. Press Q to pull them out. Place the file of one of the suspects on the stand. It's located next to the map. On the stand, it's located next to the map. Okay. So, follow the instructions in the book. Okay, so I'm standing up right now because I know this game's about to be on that bullshit, but it says, make sure that the ritual candle is lit, put the person's dossier next to the map, choose the time on the calendar, year, month, date, and hour, hover divining rods over the map, the closer the rods, the closer the person, the rods will cross in the place where the person was, the rods will spin if the ritual candle has gone out, place the flag on the right address in order to add a clue. Okay, so this is what we got to do. So we have to send a clue about his location at 14th of December at 1300 of 1902. So 1902, goddamn, it's a long ass time ago. On the 14th, oh shit, wait, whoops, what the hell am I talking about? On the 14th, there you go, of December, right? Yeah, December, so 1, 2, and then 1 o'clock. And then we put a thing right here. There you go. Then now the rods are going to spin. So the closer they are, the more likely they um, are the culprit, right? So he was at Rutland Road. So that means he's not the guy, right? He's not the dude? What the hell is that noise? The fuck is that noise? Oh. Oh my god, it sounded like a mouse was dying. Okay. Um. So yeah, he was at Rutland Road, so it's not him. So let's go with Zach Morris. Dude, look creepy as shit. Okay. Where are you at? Uh. What? Are you at Barnhill? No, you weren't. This is Meadow Street, right? Two Meadow Street? He wasn't at Two Meadow Street. What about Harrison Hawkins? This goody two shoes looking ass. Oh, oh, oh. Is that it? That might be it. Oh my god. Was that it? No clue. What about you? You were at... Wait. You are at Rutland Road on the 6th. Okay, that means I was wrong. So where the hell were you at, Mr. Hawkins? I know what I did wrong. I know what my dumbass did wrong. I'm so stupid. So it was 13th hour. So I was doing like military time. Like 1300 is 1 p.m. So my bad, everybody. Let's see. He was actually right there. So at 1300, this mother sucker was right there. Oh. Okay, this mother sucker was right there. Sorry, I do not mean to speak ill of the dead. I did not mean to do that. But after finding the culprit, you may return to the hallway and fill out the report. It lies on the table. Oh shit, it lies. It lies, my boys. And my girls. Can't forget about my girls. Okay, let's not worry about all that. Let's fill out the report. So... Uh, Harrison Hawkins. There you go. And there you go. Send. I did it. I did it. Yes, bitch. Her methods are working. 
Who would have thought? Well, okay, if you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work on it together. All right, bro. All right, my bro. Dude, we're blood related. You shouldn't be giving me a hard time. Day one, gift from God. I like gifts. I'm a big fan of gifts, especially from God. So let's see what it says here. I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing. On the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm, home for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their own home as a sacrifice. All of the Fultons now cover the murderer, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't even know who was in the house. Try using dousing to find the murderer. Send the killer's dossier. Send his or her distinctive feature by using dousing ritual on the victim. Send where the killer was during the murder. The time of death is marked in the victim's dossier. Oh, crap. Oh, this is scary. And the wind's howling. Fuck. Um, let's see. The candle's a conductor. We know that. Okay, dousing allows you to find the feature of a killer. Find the room marked with the dousing rod sign. Okay. Oh, shit. Dude, this is creepy as hell. Fuck me. Okay, so I just gotta go where the rods are spinning. You know what they say. If the rods are spinning, son, you ain't winning. Do I go in here? I don't think I go in here. I think I was just here, wasn't I? Fuck, I went in a circle. Place the victim's case on a stand. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Walk around the house. Oh, okay. So Luke Fulton is the victim. Oh, shit. Whoa. Crossing rods will indicate the direction of the object. This is giving me the chills. What is it? Is it this? What was it? Hold on. What are we looking at? I have no idea where I'm going. It was kind of touching a little bit. Like right here? Right? Right here. What is it? What the fuck? Oh, this game is creepy as hell. I feel like I'm about to be cursed playing this shit. Whoa. What is that noise? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Bro. What is it? Oh. You are close to the object. Memorize it and return to the dousing room and find out its meaning. It's a clock. Knock, knock. It's a clock. Holy crap. This game is giving me the chills, everybody. I already did it. I already did it. Where do I go? Hold on, does this game have jump scares? Bro, does this game have jump scares for your jump scares? I gotta know! I just gotta know! Okay. So what is it? Decipher the meaning of the object from the instruction book and mark the killer trait in the list next to it. Okay. So clocks. Murderer is 30 years old or older. So the murder is 30 years old or older. <gasps> no, what the heck? I meant this. Okay. Fuck me. Dude, this game is scary as hell. Whispers indicate that one of the mirrors has opened. The dousing rod will point to that mirror. Close it as soon as possible to get rid of the intruder. What the f- What the f- Oh shit! What is this? Bro. Yo, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh. Now you're on your own. Solve the case. Fuck. Okay, so the mirrors were covered because we couldn't be looking at no ugly ass shit, all right? So, let's see. We have to, um, oh, uh, god damn. Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, Jay, Jay, calm down. Calm down. You can do this, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about a thing, baby girl. Oh my god. So he died on January 8th, 1904. January 8th, 1904. Okay. Jay, stop being a little bitch. Stop being a little baby bag bitch. So, January 8th, right? 1904. Hold on. 
Oh my god. What are you talking about, game? What are you talking about? Stop it. Stop it right now. What the fuck was that? What is that? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try this guy. January 8, 1904. Um, he was at... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, you're in Barnhill. You're in Barnhill, my boy. You in Barnhill, my boy. What are you doing here? Oh, you right there. Okay, so it's gotta be you, right? Because that guy died at 13 Barnhill Street. He's 29 though. The mirrors are still covered. I'm assuming those are the only two mirrors in the house. Cause if not, I am so fooked. So you are also at 18 Barnhill. Hmm, interesting. It might be you. Unless it was Conrad. Santa Claus looking ass. It's not Conrad. Bro, that's totally rad that it's not Conrad. Okay, so it's Annabelle. Freaking haunted ass name. Jesus. Okay, we're good. So it's you. She is convinced that she is part of the world's first family of saints. How she came to this conclusion is not clear. So I guess that's it, right? Did we do good? So the dossier. Um, uh, right here, right? Dossier? Send the killer's dossier. So Annabelle Fulton. The murderer is 30 years old or older, and Annabelle did that. She did that. Wait, I got it right, but I guess I didn't put the right time? All right, so here you go. So it's Annabelle Fulton, and the clue is the murderer is 30 years or older, and then it's 11, not 1 o'clock. Yeah, buddy! I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes were aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged? If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I will try to find the last person she spoke to. Okay, so all these murders are connected to our grandmother's death. And day two is a tough lesson. Pretty sure that means we're going to get a jump scare. Are you sure everything's all right? I know that at night you are busy helping me. And during the day, you try to open new rooms in the house. But there is a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to a lack of sleep. Do me a favor and go to rest as soon as you finish this case. A local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. The case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack at the same hour. Do you want to know about another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman for the last several years. Autopsy has shown that they were poisoned an hour before their death. Find out who did it. So, let's do it. Oh boy. Okay, do that. There you go. Holy crap. This is so freaking scary. I like this game, but it's scary as shit. So I'm supposed to go over and then put the picture on the dossier, right? Of both victims? The thing's still covered? Okay, good. Mirror still covered. That means I'm still alive. I think. I mean, do I feel alive? I do feel alive. Anyway, let's do Aaron Kelly. And then let's figure out where we're trying to go, bud. Oh, shit. Damn, this is crazy. What? 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 What was it? Oh, it was connecting a little bit. Where? It's close. Close by. What the heck? I thought that was a person in the window. Holy shit. Bro, I low key hate this game. I hate it and I like it at the same time. I hope there's no weird jump scares in this game. Like, I hope any of the scares that happen are just like. What? What the heck? Hold on. What is going on? Bro. What the fuck? Oh, it's right here. This thing. It's a toy. Ladies and gentlemen, we found it. It's a toy. It's a brand new... 
It's a brand new baby toy. The color of the toys show the color of the murderer's eyes. Okay. So that means the eyes were green. Oh, shit. The whispers, my boy. The whispers, my boy. Woo! Fuck them whispers. Come on, whispering ain't gonna do shit. You know what I do? Clothes. Oh, fuck. Brown doo doo stained clothes. That was it. That was the clue. Okay. Brown doo doo stained clothes. What do clothes mean? Clothes, clothes, clothes. What is it? The color of the clothes will tell you the color of the hair. Brown doo doo stained clothes. Okay, so it's brown. So now what? What do we get into? Oh, we gotta do the thing with the people, right? Tristan, Diana, Spencer. Spencer looked mean. Molly. He looked like he's from Twilight. Okay. So let's keep these open, just in case. Okay. Bro, these doors, man. These doors. I didn't hear any whispering, but let's just check, okay? Okay, that's good still. So, let's try this. Um, what was it? What was the time? Crap. Hold on. I got to go back and see the time. The time of death. Which is right here. Yep. Okay. So let's see. She died January 28, 1904 at 1300. January 28, 1904. January 28, 1904 at 1300. Why is that hard for me to remember? Oh! Why? What is happening? Oh shit. Okay. Just remember what you're doing, Jay. January 28th. 1300, my boy. Okay. Holy shit. Let's go back and uh, use the rods. Wait. 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 Why are they red? <gasps> oh shit. Oh! What the f- Oh god. What the heck? Bro. Is, is somebody here? Oh shit. Bro, somebody might be here! I don't like this one bit. I'm closing all the doors. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Um, the 13th hour, right? Okay. January 28th. 1904. Okay, so let's do Tristan. Tristan Kenrick. Where did you die at again? So the person died at... Fuck. So a local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. The case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack at the exact same hour. Do you want to know another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman for the last several years. Okay. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. What? Close. Right here. Bam! Alright. Nobody's there. What about you, Diana Kelly? Where were you at? You were here too. Interesting. Brown hair, green eyes though. Wait, does Tristan have green eyes? Tristan has green eyes too. Shit. Shitty on me titties, mate. So it happened one hour before the murder. So where was he? Where was he? He was here. Okay. And then where was she? She was... Oh, wow. She was all the way over there. So the answer is the guy. Shit. Wait. Oh, fuck. Hold on. What happens if we just don't do anything? What happens? I just want to see. Because we know what it is. It's this guy. Tristan Kinnerk. And he was at blah, blah, blah road. So let's see what happens. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's terrifying. Bro. Oh, my God. This is scary as fuck. Whoa. Oh, shit. Holy crap. That is cool. I mean, that's actually cool. What the 
Bro, take that freaking used diaper out your face. Holy shit. Oh, she's just gonna come after me. Okay. She's gonna float over to your boy. That's cool. Alright, so there you go. That's what happens when you don't put the thing back on the mirror. That ugly ass lady just comes and gives you her hot onion breath. So we know who it is. So the killer is Tristan. Bam, bam. Oh, wait. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Yeah! I know I did that. Miss Kinark told the investigator about how the school treated his son. The teachers did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know their place and other nonsense you'll hear in old families. It all ended with the teacher persuading other children to beat the boy up. It worked too well, and now this boy will not be able to walk. Miss Kinark said that his son's future was taken away from him, and he couldn't bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. It turns out that she was in active correspondence not only with the headmistress, but with several professors throughout the country. They discussed some scientific issues. I will study her letters and report the result later. Okay, so we're inching closer to what happened to our family because they all got the stabby stabbies. And they got a lot of them too. It wasn't just one or two, it was a lot. But it says, working disagreements. We're on day three, everybody. An old policeman asked us for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he will tell us why. This interested me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved. Mr. Bones, damn what a name, a sailor dismissed from the Navy, quarreled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. He threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night, and Bones was drank. So he absolutely no memory in which cellar the body lies. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for a burial, determine the hour of death, and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, the cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Okay, got it. So let's do this. Bam. The Wheel of Thanatos will help you find the exact time of death. It's located on the first floor. What? The Wheel of Thanatos? What is this, some kind of game show? Okay, so the mirror is covered. Where's the wheel of Thanatos? Is it right here? Is this the wheel of Thanatos? There it is. Place the victim's case on the stand. Okay. Aaron Sharp. Follow the instructions from the book. Jesus. So make sure that the ritual candle is lit. Yep, it's pretty lit. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Okay, there you are, handsome devil. Determine the zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. So, seventh month, right? The day was, um... What is that? What the fuck was that? What? Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh shit. No. Oh no! Oh no! Please! Please, please! Oh god! We're still dead. We're still dead. No. Not dead. Okay, those didn't even sound like whispers. Those were straight up moans. Alright, I hate this bullshit already, but we're gonna figure this out, okay? So, he was born July 11, 1860. Why was the lights flickering? July 11, 1860. So, July 11, 1860. So, you are a cancer. Okay, Team Taurus rules, by the way. Taurus rules! So, that's a bull. I'm on my bull. There you go. Right there. So, three. Turn the wheel of Thanatos so that the black arrow points to the zodiac sign of the person. I did that. I've been here, done that. Identify the key letter of the first name. Identify the key letter of the first name. So, your name's Aaron, right? So, A. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Bro. Goodness gracious. Oh, identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. So, it's not A and S. It's the key letter. Holy fuck. You have got to be kidding me with this shit. So, cancer is a water sign. The last letter of the name. Okay. N. So, we actually have to put it at five. So, what is it? Five. How do we do this? 
the red arrow goes to five. So five. Bam. Okay. And then the last letter of the last name or whatever the fuck, it's water sign again. If the surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the last one. If not, then the first one. So it's S. So S is three. Oh, so it was at night. So it was at 12. So it's 19.04. Got it. Okay. So I did it. So now what? Determine the location of the suspect at the hour of death. Oh, shit. Okay. One second. Where do I go? Here, right? Um. No. It wasn't there. Where's the place with the the spooky shit? No, not the spooky shit. Where's the place with the um? Damn, I can't think right now because I'm so freaking scared. This thing. God damn it. Okay. We're good. We're good, everybody. Relax. Call him Bones, Mr. Bones Jones. Okay, so January first, right? January second, actually. January second, nineteen oh four. At the 24th hour. Right? Where were you, bitch? Where were you? You were... On the cockroach? Right on the cockroach? Okay. So we did it. I think. Can I go back? Can I go home? Shit. Okay. Let's do this. Um, the clues. I refuse to lose the clues. That Thanatos thing was so- WHAT?! Determine the hour of death and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. Oh. Where was the body? Where was the body? Where was the body? The body's right here. Got it. Okay. So that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Okay. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. Okay. So these are the clues. These are the clues. Um, Colin Bones and Aaron. Bam! That's it. Rubbing my hands because that's it, baby. Oh my God, that's not it. Okay, so let's go to 1 to 1904. Okay. Aaron Sharp. Aaron Sharp. You were at... Fuck. Where were you at? Where were you at, big guy? Come on. Show me where you were. Show me where you were one time. Show me where you were one time. Right there. Six Meadow. And Colin's Bones was also at Six Meadow. All right. So that's it. That's how it's done. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. So let's do wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Holy shit. Oh, God, this game. We checked the place you indicated and found the body. So our new friend agreed to tell us about his work with our grandma. Previously, she was often approached by local officers, and she helped them without any charge. It all ended because of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang, but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. The next day, all 12 criminals shot themselves. They say that the last of them was muttering something before his death. It was something about the voice of God calling them from beyond. The police didn't work with our old woman after that probably thought working with her was like some curse shit and something bad would happen to them if they kept working with her so it says sins of the past so this is day four i've been recording for over two hours and it's day four the whole city knows about this case in 1882 smugglers on a run from the rangers hid in a house on the outskirts of the town at one south way road and killed local shepherd and his family the case was closed many years ago. Now part of that gang has decided to move back into our town. I've already found them, and I know that almost all members of the gang were involved in that case. I don't need your help to find the guilty. On the opposite, send me the names of those who were not in that house in 1882 in the day of the murder. They will go to jail. The rest of them will meet the gallows. So send the dossiers of those gang members who did not participate in the murder. They were not at the crime scene at the hour of the murder during the massacre of 1882. Okay, so all these people are suspects. I gotta find the ones that were innocent. Okay, so let's do this. There you go. This game is actually very cool. I'm enjoying this one a lot. It's unique. Like, it's really unique. So wait, I have to go 
over here. So now I'm like slowly learning which parts of the place I need to go to. So that's still over the mur. The mur? <laughs> that's still over the mur. Yeah. Okay. Everything's litting on my titties. So let's do Edward Gallagher. I actually had to find out when this asshole died, didn't I? I mean, I shouldn't be calling him an asshole because he died. But you know what I mean. Okay, so let's take that off. How do we take that off? I don't want that to be there. Because I want the things to swing when uh, <laughs> the mirror goes off. But whatever. Let's put this here. And I'm going to show you all how not good at this shit I am. So May 5th, 29. I mean, May 29. So May 29, May 29. You're a Gemini. Okay, that's cute. It's real cute. So you're a Gemini. What does a Gemini look like? Looks like that thing. Okay, Gemini. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please hurry. Please hurry. If you are really in this house for real. Oh shit. What the fuck? Yo, what was that growl? It sounded like a wildebeest. Bro, it sounded like a wildebeest. All right, it was like. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Gemini, right? My guy, the Gemini. So you are where? Oh, you're actually right here. Okay, cool. That's cool. So Gemini. And then, what is it again? Identify the. Fuck, the flight's flickering, man. There's so many things you gotta pay attention to in this game. So we have to identify the key letter in the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. So he's an air sign, and it says the third letter of the name on the first. What the fuck does that mean? If the name has less than three letters. Okay, your name is Zachary. It's way more than three letters. The third letter of the name or the first. If the name has less than three letters. The third letter of the name. Okay. So C. It's C. It's three. So I need to do the black arrow. So the black arrow... Wait, actually, no. I don't do the black arrow. I do the red arrow. So it was three, right? So three. Okay. And then the next one is... Identify the key letter of the last name. It depends on the element. Okay. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. There are more than... Five letters, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight. There are more than five letters. The key letter is the fifth one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's I. So one. Okay, one is the blue arrow. So one is the blue arrow. Bam! So it was the twentieth. Oh fuck. God damn it. Oh, this thing is creepy. But I'm on point with this bullshit. So it was 20. And fourth hour? But at night. So 14. No, no, no. It's 18. There you go. Because you got to add 12. Right? So 4 plus 12 is 16. And then the month is 11. So November. So 11 and then the year of death, right? 1882. Okay. 1882. Bam! Okay. So he died on the 16th hour. 1882. So now we just have to see who wasn't there of the time of that, right? So we just got to do 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on... November 20. So November 20. Bam. And that's it. That's all we do. What did it do? Okay. So hold on. Oh my god! What? Oh shit, I got the chills. Whoa, I got the chills. Um... Should I even back myself into this corner? No, this is scary. Um, hold on. My back is so erect right now. Don't do this, dude. Don't do this. Okay. We're good. I just gotta switch the light. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was creepy. What the hell was that about? 
Okay. Let's figure out where this asshole was. Let's find out where this stinky asshole was. Oh. Oh. Okay. One. So, the next person, Jamie Webb. You were also there. Okay. Jackson. Where's Jackson? Oh. Jackson was, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Woo! <laughs> oh, shit! Bro, Grandma was about to clap! With no T2, no denture, she was about to clap! Out of town, right? Yeah, he was out of town. Okay. Um, you were out of town, Mr. Jackson Burns. What about you? You were there too. Julio Perez? Now my Perez, you were also out of town. Interesting how everybody was out of town. Oh, fuck. What is that? What the hell is this? Whoa. Bro, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Bro, no me gusta on that shit. What the fuck? What is that? Oh, it's other burn marks. That look like demon feet. So Julio and Jackson were the two people that weren't there. Please tell me I did that right. I did. Well done! We will visit them tonight. Still, it's strange that they came back here after so many years and take the risk of being executed. They are not the only ones, though. We've already arrested several wanted criminals who suddenly showed up in our town. The new judge is tired of signing death sentences. It seems to me that we began to attract all kinds of madmen. Okay, I'm gonna do one more day. I've been recording for a really long time. Usually with these games, I just like to do everything in one episode, but I've been recording for so long that I'm gonna do Party Killer. I'm the Party Killer in this video, I guess. Hey everybody, Editing Jay here. I said that I was gonna do one more day of this game, and I did, and you learned a new mechanic in the game, which was tarot cards. You can speak to the dead and figure out some things using the cards. It was actually a really cool mechanic, and then you can also go upstairs, and there were some new mirrors, but shortly after that, the gameplay just stopped recording. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties with uploads lately, and this is just like a long list of things that have happened over this past month with like technical difficulties. I even had the crazy is jump scared during this part too. Here's the audio from it. Fuck. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that was terrifying, bro. But yeah, it sucks that I can't show you all what exactly happened. There was just like some old ass lady standing in front of the candle, and then as I got closer, she just disappeared, and some loud ass sound played. But yeah, I just wanted to let you all know that, and back to the video. Like I said, I normally do these all in one long playthrough, but it's taken me forever to get this right, mostly because the learning was very extreme. Like, the, especially the Thanatos thing, that took me a long time to actually figure out. But if you want me to finish this in the next episode, let me know down below in the comments below that you want more. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!